Hi everyone and welcome to Hardware Ingenuity. Today we're going to learn how to make a potato cannon out of PVC pipe, some PVC belts, some end caps, three quarter inch barrel, and for our base we're going to use a plastic floor drain. And for our propellant we're going to use baking soda and vinegar because when baking soda combines with vinegar it releases CO2 gas and that gas is going to build up pressure in our airtight chamber here and that pressure is going to build up to the point where when we release it we're going to send our potato out into about out into space about two to three hundred feet. And the way it works is this. What we're going to do is, we're, first of all, we're going to add about a quarter cup of baking soda into the bottom of our combustion chamber. We're going to seal that off with our valve. And then we're going to pour in about a cup of vinegar on top of the, uh, on top of the valve here. We're going to seal that off to make everything airtight. Then we're going to push our potato about just below or just above the, uh, the uh, release valve. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close our valve here for the potato. And we're going to open our release valve here for the, for the vinegar to come down, combined with the uh, baking soda. And that chemical reaction is going to create a lot of gas, and that gas is going to create pressure. So we've got pressure inside this whole container. And then what we're going to do is we're going to release it here with our trigger, or our final, uh, our final release valve. And it's going to send our potato about two to 300 feet in the air. Want to see it in action? All right. This is baking soda, and what happens when I combine it with vinegar, it's going to release carbon dioxide gas, and that gas is what's going to build pressure inside our uh, potato cannon, and that's what's going to fire our potato out into space. This is what happens you, when you combine vinegar with baking soda. It creates a bubbly, effervescent reaction. And this gas, again, is what's going to fuel our rocket, or our potato, into space. Okay, we're going to add a quarter cup of baking soda. We're going to drop it down all the way into our combustion chamber here. We're going to open our valve. We're going to drop that in. And send it down. Okay, now we're going to close our valve. This valve here is closed. This valve here is closed. It's closed from here to here. This is air tight. Now we're going to take our cup of vinegar. We're going to add that to the top of this. Oops. It creates a little bit of reaction because there's a little bit of baking soda already in it. It's fizzing. We're going to seal the top. We're going to take our potato. We're going to take about the middle of it. I'm going to come around. We're going to force it down in. Making an airtight seal. And using a half inch dowel, we're going to push it down to about, about just about there. Okay. And seal off our container here. We're going to open our valve. The vinegar is going to rush down to the baking soda. It's going to create a combustion type effect, releasing that CO2 gas. And then we're going to release it with our valve here. Ready? Fire in a hole. Okay, we're going to shake it up a little bit. So countdown, five, four, three, two, one. And there it goes. Cool, huh? And as a word of caution, don't go trying this in your basement. Otherwise, you could end up with mashed potatoes and a big stink for your mom or your wife. And that would not be cool. Until next time, thanks for joining us on Hardware Engineering.